Hi folks, Cajun from the Kidsium here. For today's video, I thought we would check up on our bio jar. Uh, it's been in there for about a week and I thought we would answer some questions. So if you look at our bio jar, it's actually doing really well. There's no signs of wilting from when I originally picked the plants, which is good. And you can see that there's humidity inside the jar. So the nice thing is this jar is completely sealed. As the plant uses up the CO2 to create oxygen, the bacteria and little bugs and stuff that might be in there will use it up to create more CO2. So it should create a nice balanced environment. Now, I've even got flowers in there. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you look down here, you'll see that I actually have quite a bit of water in there. See? One of the questions that I um, have received is how much water can you actually put in here? And the answer is however much you want. Just make sure that it's water from outside. Rain puddles, maybe sit standing, sitting or standing water from a planter or maybe a toy left outside. That's the perfect water because that water has organisms in it. If you get water from your tap, it's probably going to have some chlorine in it or something else to keep it clean. And it's going to have nothing in it, hopefully. So just looking at our jar here a little bit, you can see that I also included some silt and some rocks. So the reason that I did that is because one, it happened to be the dirt that I collected my water from. And two, you wanna have some, some as much diversity as possible. A lot of those little small rocks will have moss growing inside the cracks and so on and so forth. But I've seen bio jars that have water up to the halfway point. Um, I've seen them that have it all the way to the top. These little plants right here, you can actually just take off the tips if you have them growing in your yard and you can just set them in the water and a lot of times they'll just grow. So it, there really is no limit to what you actually want to do or what you can do with your bio jar. Just make sure that whatever you put in there is diverse and make sure that it's set or left near some sort of light because then the plants can do their photosynthesis and that kind of keeps the whole food cycle going. Um, as far as the container size goes, I used a regular mason jar. I, I don't know what this used to be. I think it's just a regular mason jar, but you can actually use any kind of jar that you have in your house. So as long as it's clear, you want to use a bigger jar, you can use a bigger jar. You can even use a smaller jar if you just want to put like maybe one plant in there, a teeny tiny bit of dirt and some standing water and just seal it to see what's living inside of it. If it's inside of a warm house and in the sunlight, there will be lots and lots of activity after about a week or so. So if you have any other questions, um, just, just try to experiment or let us know. Take care. Bye-bye.